on the workbench today we are going to be unboxing this brand new charger from jen's ace it's their imars 300 watt smart balance charger so hello my name is troy this is roadside rc if you're new to the channel welcome we do all the RC stuff, whether it's crawling or bashing or drifting or racing. We also do a whole bunch of how-to videos and product reviews. And today we are unboxing a brand new charger from Genzase. So the first thing we notice is obviously this very nice sleek design from Gen Zace fits with the brand very nicely. It uh, has input power on one side and the output on the other for your balance ports. And it even comes with a USB so you can charge your phone and other things along with it. That's very nice. In the box comes not only your adapters for different style plugs that can come off the side of the charger, balance wires, balance ports, and your power adapter. When looking in the book at the parameters, one of a couple of things I really like to call out, five amp charging, very important, really helps that five amps plus your 100 watt max is really what gets your battery charged fast. The other thing I really like to point out is discharge is all the way up to one and a half amp discharge. That's higher than you get in a lot of chargers and really helps if your batteries are up higher and you're trying to get them back down to storage. And you also have up to 6S capability. Plus, yes, it's going to do your LiPo battery, it's going to do your life, your lip, their high voltage, plus your nickel metal batteries also. Now, chargers plugged in. I have this great Gen's Ace. This is a 3S 2200. Very great battery for crawlers, that type of thing. Really enjoy this one a lot. Um, also good in our FPV goggles. Have it hooked up through the XT60 here. Balance cord plugged in. We actually have, it looks like, 12 different preset charging um, things that you can create. And so as an example here, I go into number one and I can set it up for LiPo or nickel metal or whatever I want it to be at. I can set it to be a charge or a discharge, storage or balance. So I'm gonna put this one on storage. Uh, it is a 2200 uh, milliamp battery. So I'm gonna put it up to 2.2 amps and it is a 3S. So you do need to make sure that you are watching that. If I hold the button then, it's gonna do a battery check. It's gonna confirm it's saying, hey, we think it's a 3S. And then off it goes to charging. Hit the up button here. Oh, storage done. Well, of course, it was already basically at storage. So, of course, it took no time whatsoever. But you can see the individual voltages there and everything. So, if we come back. And if I don't want, uh, so we'll just leave that one. We'll leave uh, number one there as LiPo storage on a 3S. So, I'm going to come up here to number two. Yes, I still want it to be LiPo, but it is not a discharge. It is... I want it to be at a charge, which in this charger, charge is always balanced charge. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it on 5 amps. I know it's a 2200. I should be charging it at 2.2. I'm going to charge it at a little bit over a 2S rate just to show off the charger. And we are going to kick it over to a 3S battery. All right, hold for a second. Batteries confirming it's a 3S and boom, there it goes charging away you can see the amps climbing you can see the total voltage this looks like time and i'm guessing i'm guessing that is milliamp hour that is going into the battery let me see if i hit here then we can actually see the three cells is what's going in so now really we have to ask ourselves who is this charger for right who's the intended audience for this charger um, so I think a couple different folks if you're new to RC and maybe you only have one vehicle really you're only gonna be charging one or two batteries you know before you go out to bash or to crawl or to whatever you're gonna do and this is absolutely a great a great value right now as I'm videoing this you can find this a wide variety of places either from Jen's Ace you can find it on Amazon you can find it different places for like $50 $50 is very cheap, very, very cheap for a charger that has this much functionality in it.
Um, now, how am I personally going to use this? So one, I think this is great for somebody who's new, new into RC, doesn't have a lot of batteries that they want to charge. Uh, the second way, that, the, but the other person is somebody like me. I, I have this uh, Profit Sport Mini from Dynamite. And this is usually my travel charger. Hey, I'm going to go out. Uh, my son and I are going to be, you know, going out and flying drones. Or I'm going to be going out for a drift night, something like that. And I'm probably going to just end up charging one battery, two batteries, something like that. Not a heavy amount of charging. I'll bring this along with me. But really, I mean, it does the different battery styles, but it only goes up to a 4 amp. And it only does balance charging. There's no such thing as discharge. You can't see the um, status of the uh, batteries while you're charging it like you can here. And guess what? This also costs $50. This is 50. That's 50. This is a no brainer. This is literally a no brainer here. So I'm, I'm sorry, Dynamite. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, the Profit Sport Mini is just, I'm going to end up giving it away. When I do a vehicle giveaway here soon, I'm literally just going to end up including it in with it. Um, because this is so much nicer. It's going to charge faster. It's going to charge better. I can see the voltages as it goes. I can put a battery back into storage charge if I need to. I can do all these kind of things. And that is great. You know, as an example, recently went on vacation. When I went on vacation, I didn't want to bring my big four port charger, you know, a very powerful big four port charger because it's just a big old mess, octopus wires everywhere. It's heavy, it's big. So instead what I do, I brought this along with me and then I just kind of had question marks the whole time about what was the status of my batteries. I couldn't discharge them with it. So I actually ended up leaving a couple of them fully charged longer than I wanted to. This Gen's Ace, this fits the bill. So that's what I'm going to be using. So anyway, be in the lookout for it. I will be using it. You'll probably see it in a couple of videos and stuff as they go out. If you have any questions about it, please ask them down below. Um, I'd be love to know kind of what charger you're using right now. I'd be really curious to see. Are you using kind of single port like this? Do you have multi ports? You know, what is it that you're using? I'd love to hear what that is. So please tell me down below. I really appreciate that. Also, in the meantime, hey, we're going to go out. We're going to work on some other videos. You know, there are more videos coming for you. Come on over here. Check out some of the other stuff that uh, we've already created that's already out there. Whatever you do to watch helps to support the channel. So thank you very much, and we will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.